I'm so excited about Heptio joining forces with VMware. There are so many things to, to really focus on, but I'm going to start with, with a couple. Uh, the first being that Heptio's mission and VMware's mission align so closely. I think, you know, when you look at this through broad strokes, we want to help customers be successful with technology. We want to help them navigate this transition from where they are to where they need to be, both from on-prem to the cloud and into a future where it's going to be, you know, spread across all sorts of different environments. Uh, there is a difference between cloud and cloud native. Cloud is like running on somebody else's computers. It's, um, it's really about a service that provides a level of management, whether they're just managing hardware or they're managing a higher level service. And so it's really about outsourcing some of the burden of running and using systems. Cloud native, on the other hand, uh, takes the best aspects of cloud, which I think are you know API driven, self service, and elastic. Takes those things and really thinks about how do we, at a process and tooling and organizational level, really reinvent uh, how we do things to take advantage of that stuff. How do we take advantage of the unique aspects of cloud? Most of these organizations are invested in a multi-cloud world. Um, they are struggling to understand you know, which cloud provider is the best for which situations. A lot of their uh, procurement departments do not want them to be you know, locked into a specific vendor. And they need someone that can provide that decoupling of those cloud environments from uh, their application workloads. And I think VMware has proven the ability to do this in a, in a, in a unique and, and powerful way. I've seen VMware as a company that's led the industry through several significant disruptions in terms of how to think about IT. You know, it was central to the introduction of virtualization, decoupling workloads from the infrastructure that they were running on. It was central to defining the software-defined data center uh, and, and really thinking about that across the entire portfolio of, of technologies that touch your workloads. Um, and I think we have another opportunity to do that again, a little bit higher up the stack, um, that will have as much impact or more than anything we've done so far. In some cases, they're going to think about you know, a Kubernetes cluster as something relatively small, lightweight, delivered to a team uh, with relatively low friction. And that will need a, a product that offers that type of consumption model. In some cases, organizations are going to think about Kubernetes clusters as these significant, stable environments in which they want to run regulated workloads and uh, you know, have curated to meet a very specific set of requirements. We need to be able to do that as well. There's no one right way to uh, consume Kubernetes. Kubernetes itself means a lot of different things to a lot of people. And I think we need to hold our options open and make sure that we meet our customers where they are and help them progress forwards. We good? Or maybe?